this talk is on retinal anatomy. The dimensions of the of the retina, it is thinnest near the optic nerve, uh, has a thickness of 0.56 millimetres, and it's thinnest in the foveola and the ora serrata, where it has a thickness of 0.1 millimetre. It extends more anteriorly, nasally than temporally. Its relations to other structures, uh, internally it's related to the vitreous body, externally the RPE is in contact with Brooks membrane, anteriorly the it is continuous with the ciliary body epithelium, both pigmented and non-pigmented, and posteriorly it's uh, continuous, it's related to the optic nerve, and all layers except for the renal nerve fibre layer end at the optic disc. In terms of embryology, the RPE arises from the outer layer of the optic cup, and the neurosensory retina arises from the inner layer of the optic cup. The macula lutea, also known as the area centralis, is demarcated by the upper and lower temporal retinal vessels. It is 5.5 millimetres in diameter and corresponds to 15 degrees of the visual field. Histologically, the macula lutea is defined as the area consisting of at least two layers of ganglion cell nuclei, as opposed to a single layer in the peripheral retina. The macula lutea can be divided into four sections. The fovea centralis has a diameter of 1.5 millimetres. It has a central floor known as the foveola. The foveola is 0.35 millimetres in diameter and it contains only cones. The sides of this depression is known as the clivus. The parafovea surrounds the fovea centralis and extends 0.5 millimetres beyond the edge of the fovea centralis. It has the highest density of neural cell bodies in the retina and has a ganglion cell layer which is 7 to 10 cell layers thick. The perifovea surrounds the parafovea and extends 1.5 millimetres beyond the edge of the parafovea. The perifovea starts where the ganglion cell layer has four rows of nuclei. The perifovea ends peripherally where the ganglion cell layer is reduced to a single cell layer, which is typical of the peripheral retina. The peripheral retina has four parts. The first part is the near peripherally, which uh, extends 1.5 millimetres around the area centralis. Surrounding this is the mid periphery, which extends 3 millimetres out from the near periphery. The far periphery extends 9 to 10 millimetres temporally and 16 millimetres nasally from the optic disc. And finally, the ora serrata is where the retina ends. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op.vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.